Hi everyone, it's Jeanette here again from Enthusiastic Gardener. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. It's May tomorrow. Today, April the 30th, is our average last frost day. But I'll still leave it maybe two weeks before planting anything tender out just to be on the safe side. Sorry, it's a bit noisy here in the garden today. But the garden is looking very nice. Everything's looking very healthy. And there's just a couple more little tweaks. And one of them is my rhododendron. I always have wonderful comments from you all and you give me fantastic ideas. And I had a fantastic idea from Julie Double E. Julie watched and she suggested that I should maybe do a bottomless pot. And I thought, yes. There's a wonderful, wonderful gardening architect we have over here called Bunny. Bunny Guinness, I'm sure you know Bunny Guinness. She's a radio presenter, an expert on garden. She's a garden architect. She's it's just fabulous. She has a wonderful video. I've just sat in there and watched it again. It's all about bottomless pots. And she has a follow-up video of questions because it was so popular. And I have four, no, actually I have five, big black pots which are just over by my um, potting bench and I'm going to dot them around the garden and use them as bottomless pots. It gives added height to your garden too, which is always a good thing. The plants are happy, they root down, they find the native soil. You can leave them in there for years bunny says you can so bunny knows so that's what I'm going to do today I've saved the soil because that's going to come in very useful the pots are here I've given them a quick wash over. So we'll wait for Richard to come home and uh, then he can cut the bottoms off for us. Very exciting. As you can see, it's another glorious Saturday <laughs> afternoon. When glorious. You should, be, you should be doing what? What would you rather be doing? Watching James Bond. James Bond. Anyway, I've had a very hard week. I've taken on a big project and uh, a grade two listed building putting heating in for the first time so i've worked very hard this week looking forward to my weekend of relaxation but no no in this household we're not allowed to rest no so right so all we're doing richard is cutting off the bottom that's all that's, that's all. it no, just, that's just... it and i'm going to have them at different heights right. yes for different plants yes so this one you just want the bottom cut out yes please right. thank yes. you I'll seed Thank you. Right. So that one is going to be for my rhododendron. So what, how much do you want to cut off? I think maybe this one could be maybe there and then the other one can be shorter.
I can rest now. Thanks, Rich. I can rest. There'll probably be more tomorrow. So um, we'll see, won't we? But she's happy. <laughs> and if she's happy, everybody's happy. <laughs> Thank you. So here we are. And uh, yes, let's put it here. I think actually, thinking about it, it might be a little bit too tall. So I'm going to dig a hole, bury it down to the height that I like. And I've been dotting around my other four. They've been all over the place so far. So I'm still deciding, but let's just get this one done. You get the drift. And I think the plant pots with the inserts in, such as this had, the insert came down to maybe here. But the trouble with that is, like my big purple one, they can get very waterlogged. I don't know if you saw the video uh, over a year ago now. My big purple one got completely filled with water, which had to drill in the sides. The water was gushing out for over 10 minutes. And that's, that's the trouble with these type. Anyway, let's get on with it. I've been dotting around the others trying to decide where they should go I mean they're not level but I think I think two of them are going there things could all change though so that's the smaller one and then I've put another two over here those I think will go there and I put my other little seat, it's funny because I just, just plopped it there quickly one day, but I really like it. It has a, a really pretty little view. You can see there I'm hardening off my seedlings. I'm on about day five. I'm following Roxana at Soil and Margarita. She posted on Instagram what she was doing for hers. So I have copied, screenshotted that, copied exactly, and that's what I'm doing. And uh, yes, let's have a look. The birds are interested because I've just watered, but I absolutely love my new pot. I think it's very nice to have a bit of height. And it's sunk down maybe about six inches. But I like it and uh, Yes, I hope you do too. Wood Bunny says you can grow anything at all and if you look after them for their first season after that, they're going to be absolutely fine, just as if they're in normal soil. I will be dotting around my others just to finalise where I want them. I'll probably do that tomorrow because it's bank holiday tomorrow. I managed to do it tomorrow. I will try and get a film out of it quickly on Friday just to show you what I've done. But Thank you to Julie for giving me such a great idea and I hope you're having fun in your gardens and I will see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.